of the Cold War, East Germany's infamous Stasi secret police kept meticulous records about those it spied on, imprisoned and tortured. When the Berlin Wall came down and Germany was reunited, much of that archive survived. Millions of documents that catalogue years of repression. Many former citizens are still haunted by the dark times revealed in those files, when family and friends became informers, when freedom was only a dream. But now time is running out for those searching for answers and justice. In a quiet corner of East Berlin, this archive holds the key to millions of secrets. Once headquarters to East Germany's feared secret police, it was here that the Stasi stored their records, the intimate details of millions of people. But now this information is being used for good. This month marks the 50th anniversary of the building of the Berlin Wall. It stood 28 years, a potent symbol of communist repression. Its fall in 1989 marked the end of the Cold War. But in Berlin today, the Cold War is still being fought between the Stasi and their victims. The German establishment is riddled with former Stasi, from police chiefs to judges while those they oppressed are largely ignored. But the victim's cause has just been boosted by the appointment of Roland Jahn, a charismatic former dissident, to head the Stasi archive. Thirty years ago, Roland Jahn agitated for change in East Germany, known as the GDR. Ja, ich habe nicht gewartet darauf, dass man mir äh, die Freiheiten gibt, sondern ich habe mir die Freiheit genommen. Ich habe mir die Meinungsfreiheit genommen, ich habe mir die Informationsfreiheit genommen, ich habe mir die Versammlungsfreiheit genommen und deswegen wurde ich ins Gefängnis gesperrt. Erich Honecker, East Germany's last dictator, ruled the country with an iron fist. personally overseeing the building of the Berlin Wall. The Stasi, once Europe's largest secret police force, had 102,000 officers and a network of half a million informers. One in every 30 East German citizens was complicit in a system that destroyed the lives of those who did not fit in. Also, ähm, ich war 17 Jahre alt, äh, 1985. Da habe ich mich äh, während eines Urlaubs in Budapest, äh, in Ungarn, in einen äh, Politiker aus der Bundesrepublik verliebt. Und die Staatssicherheit äh, hat das mitbekommen, weil er mich ziemlich häufig in Ostberlin besuchte. Sie wollten mich dann zwingen, als Informant für sie zu arbeiten. Und ich habe gesagt, das mache ich nicht. Und mit dem Moment äh, kam ich ins Blickfeld der Staatssicherheit. Hedda Schonhurst was a glamorous TV presenter known to millions in East Germany. Hedda did not agree with the communist dictatorship, and when she applied to leave East Germany, the Stasi moved in. Sie haben sich dann zwei konspirative Zimmer eingerichtet, gerade rüber von unserem Haus und rechts von unserem Haus, und uns rund um die Uhr bewacht. Nach einer Woche dann, es war montags früh, früh kurz vor 7 Uhr, ich lag noch im Bett, Da geht die Schlafzimmertür auf und ich denke, meine Kinder kommen noch mal herein. Und stattdessen stehen zwölf Stasi-Männer und eine Frau vor meinem Bett. Kommen Sie mit zur Klärung eines Sachverhalts. Und dass diese Klärung nun drei Jahre dauern würde, wusste ich zu diesem Zeitpunkt noch nicht. The Stasi developed new techniques in psychological torture. Nun könnte ich ja sagen, ich war wirklich ein Widerstandskämpfer, ja, wie die Akte es sagt. Aber ich hatte große, große Angst vor ihnen. Denn sie haben gedroht, meine Eltern zu verhaften. Sie haben gedroht, meiner Schwester das Kind wegzunehmen. Meine Nichte war zwei Jahre alt und das Kind wird in ein Heim gesteckt und dann von Funktionären adoptiert. Like thousands of others. Mario Rolig was held at the top secret interrogation center known as Hunchenhausen. 
they um, had designed Hohenschönhausen prison as a psychological torture. And the main method was isolation. It was uh, completely silent in this prison. And the only noise you heard frequently was the banging of the cell doors and the knocking of the bolts. And uh, the guards did this uh, especially loud because they wanted to demonstrate even if the prisoner was successful to leave the prison in his thought. Yeah? The banging of the cell doors and the knocking of the bolts reminded him that he was imprisoned and that he couldn't escape. The prisoners had to sleep on their backs, their hands over the blanket, and this was checked during the night by the guards. And when a prisoner changed this position during sleeping, he was waked up by banging with the bolts, the bolts, and the hatch was open and the guards shouted inside, keep on the sleeping room. After months of interrogation, detainees were sent to a network of remote prisons like Honeck, an East German gulag where political prisoners were forced to work. Beim Eingang in, in dem Eingangsbereich, also der Aufnahmebereich, äh, da waren wir so zwei oder drei Tage und da habe ich einmal Mittagessen bringen müssen in so eine Arrestzelle. Das nannte sich Tigerkäfig und da drin war eine Frau, die war zum Tier geworden. Die war so aggressiv, dass die Wachfrauen äh, nicht äh, mehr da reingegangen sind. Die haben praktisch uns Neuankömmlinge diesen Anblick gegeben, damit wir gleich lernen, wie es da lang geht in dem Hause. 24 Frauen auf einen Raum, drei Stock Metallbetten, eine Toilette für alle und drei Waschgelegenheiten an so einem Schweinetrog. Und unter dem Motto, uns sind zehn Mörder lieber als ein politischer Gefangener. It was particularly hard for mothers. Edith Fiedler's son was sent to a school for mentally handicapped children, although he had no such disability. These two Bilder, die wurden mir von zu Hause geschickt von meinem Sohn während meiner Haftzeit in Hoheneck, und dann durfte ich mir eins aussuchen und eins ständig bei mir tragen. But Edith's son was luckier than most. Margot Honecker, the dictator's wife and minister for education, introduced a policy of forced adoption of the children of jailed dissidents. No one knows how many children were taken because no records were kept. Das Schlimme, was die Stasi gemacht hat, ist ja, dass sie Menschen zersetzt hat. Das war ein offizieller Begriff der Stasi, äh, damit man die Oppositionellen äh, ja, in ihrer Persönlichkeit zerstört. If prisoners were deemed to be of no further use to the state or could not be broken by the Stasi, they were sold to West Germany. It was a lucrative practice which helped keep the GDR afloat. I was sentenced to one year of imprisonment and after 10 months of imprisonment West Germany paid for my release or East Germany sold me. The average price per prisoner was 96,000 Deutsche Mark. In values today it means 68,000 euros. No one expected the Berlin Wall to fall. When it did, the Stasi began destroying the evidence of the crimes they had committed. But their headquarters was stormed, and most of the files saved. Today, they are a monument to the most insidious secret police force of modern times. 111 kilometers of files including photographs, films, and tape recordings. Open to the public in 1991, people flocked to see their file. And interest hasn't fallen. In the last six months, 
there were 42,000 requests. Das ist eine wichtige Aufgabe, wo ich aufbauen kann auf meine eigene Erfahrung mit der Stasi. Ich weiß, wie die Stasi funktioniert hat und deswegen sind das gute Voraussetzungen, jetzt äh, mit aufzuklären, äh, den Menschen die Informationen zu geben über die Stasi. In the coming weeks, Roland Jahn's mandate to screen public officials for Stasi involvement will be extended to 2019, after which time Stasi spies will escape scrutiny. But with the sheer magnitude of their task, for Jan and his team, it may prove to be a race against time. Many of Honecker's henchmen are still in positions of power. According to research conducted at Berlin's Free University, 17,000 former Stasi are government employees in Berlin and the East German states. Even now, 10% of police in the state of Brandenburg are former Stasi. I think this is a very incredible case, but um, you have to think about the situation when they, when they were taken over in, into their jobs. And this was police in Brandenburg was the GDR police. And the GDR police was highly um, co controlled by the Stasi and also Stasi members who were inside the police working, inofficially and officially. There are even judges who spied for the Stasi, embedded in the German legal system. For example, one judge sentenced a couple who tried to leave the country, and he sentenced them to prison. And he was taken over after 89, and he's still judge in Brandenburg. The Stasi archive continues to yield chilling facts about high-ranking officials. But for some, the files contain more personal revelations. Aber schrecklich ist, wenn ich eben heute gelesen habe, 1997 gelesen habe, dass zum Beispiel mein bester Freund der mieseste der vier Informanten über mich war, weil er hat Geld für die Berichte bekommen. Always the activist, Vera Langsfeld became an MP for the CDU. With a high profile in the newly unified Germany, she received some startling news. I was told by uh, friends, um that my husband was a spy. So the next day I went uh, to the office uh, for the Stasi files. His uh, file uh, was almost completely destroyed, so what was left was rather trivial. I can only guess, and my guess is that he had report only on me, not on other people, because um, I was a very important person for the Stasi. Many crimes were committed against political prisoners. The basement section of Hunchenhausen, known as the U-boat, is where torture was conducted. This included Chinese water torture. The head of the prisoner was fixed between two wooden poles while water dripped on the forehead from the bucket above. Next door is the water cell, a small chamber insulated in rubber and filled with about six inches of water. Prisoners were left here for days on end in the depths of winter. The last commandant of Hunchenhausen prison, Siegfried Ratacik, worked as a guard here. He still lives just a few blocks from the prison. Guten Tag, wir sind mit Al Jazeera Fernsehen und wir wollten wissen, ob, ähm, äh, ob wir waren jetzt bei den Hohenschönhausen mhm. in der Gedenkstätte. Im Kuhl ja. Ähm, ja, genau. Und deshalb, wir wollten wissen, wir wollten wissen, was Ihre Meinung jetzt, was ja, ja. daraus geworden ist, was Ihre Meinung darüber ist. Das sind so viele Fernsehanstalten da, ich gebe keine Interviews mehr im Zusammenhang. Siegfried Ratacik cannot be held to account for his crimes. Before unification, and for the sake of expediency, West Germany took the controversial decision to sanction all such human rights violations so long as they were legal at the time of the East German dictatorship. The fact that these people are still at liberty only adds to the trauma of survivors. Mario Rolick was working at Carder Bay, Berlin's richest department store at the cigar counter, when his past came back to haunt him. 
habe ich den Stasi-Offizier wiedererkannt, der mich zwölf Jahre vorher im Gefängnis verhört hat. Und als er vor mir stand, ähm, das war ein bisschen, als wenn man dem Teufel wieder begegnet. Und ich habe zu ihm gesagt, entschuldigen Sie, wir kennen uns, Stasi-Gefängnis Hohenschönhausen. Ähm, er sagte dann, ähm, was wollen Sie jetzt von mir? Und ich habe gesagt, ja, eine Entschuldigung, nur eine Entschuldigung. Und äh, dann sagte er, ähm, wofür? Sie sind doch ein Verbrecher. Und Reue ist was für kleine Kinder. Und dann drehte er sich um und ging. Und für mich war mein schönes Leben zu Ende. Ich brach zusammen und musste mit dem Notarzt in die geschlossene Psychiatrie gebracht werden. Mario, like many others, does not qualify for a Stasi victim's pension while former Stasi officers, like Siegfried Radicic, enjoy some of the highest occupational pensions in Germany. Yes, it is um, one of the facts which make me really, really angry because they had huge wages uh, and uh, yes, now they have very huge pensions. <laughs> Despite having destroyed the lives of countless children, Margot Honecker continues to receive a substantial pension for her time as Minister of Education. After the collapse in 1990, she went to, to uh, Santiago, and uh, nowadays she is getting a very high pension. It doesn't have to do anything with justice what uh, happens here. The victims have to fight for every euro, and the former elites are treated uh, much better. Since reunification in 1990, almost no one has been jailed for state crimes committed in the GDR, not even Eric Honecker. As of 2001, former Stasi have enjoyed a blanket immunity. Since uh, the former Stasi generals are not prosecuted anymore, they are starting to rewrite the former GDR history and their own history. They are writing books, they are doing talk shows, going to schools, and that's dangerous, of course. To counter this shameless propaganda, former prisoners guide school children and tourists around Honschenhausen. The prison is now a memorial to those who suffered there. It is necessary because there are some people who wanted to play down the history of the Stasi in East Germany. And so it is very necessary to remember um, the people on the history. It's very important for the pupils to feel this memorial, to feel the history, not only to read about this situation. But some in Germany would like to see the memorial closed. Hans Bauer was the deputy state prosecutor for East Germany. He is the spokesman for the GRH, the Society for Legal and Humanitarian Support, a body which represents former Stasi. Its offices are in the publishing house of the old GDR state newspaper, Neuser Deutschland. His group published books to show the positive side of the GDR dismissing accusations of torture. Absolute Lüge, absolute Lüge. Äh, es gab klare Regelungen, Ordnungen, nicht zuletzt eine Aufsicht der Staatsanwaltschaft über die Untersuchungshaftanstalten, alles in der Strafprozessordnung der DDR geregelt. The GRH claim that former Stasi are victims of Western propaganda, excluded from political posts. But it hasn't barred high-flying politicians like Gregor Gysi. Erstmals in der Geschichte der Bundesrepublik Deutschland. His party, the left, made a dramatic breakthrough in the last general election, scoring 12% of the national vote and sharing power in Berlin. Seen here on YouTube, Margot Honecker gloated over the party's success. 12%, fast 12% der Stimmen zu kriegen. The left's rising star 
Bodo Ramelow, sparked outrage when he denied that East Germany was an unjust state. He sees no reason to bar Stasi spies from politics. In meiner Fraktion ist ein IM, der sich selbst geoutet hat, der seit 21 Jahren mit seiner IM-Akte öffentlich umgeht. Und ich habe eine zweite Kollegin, die war für die Kriminalpolizei. Also sie hat sich der Öffentlichkeit mit ihrer Akte gestellt und ist jetzt zweimal hintereinander direkt gewählt worden vom Volk. Das heißt, dem darf man nicht jede Woche wieder vorhalten, dass er Schuld auf sich geladen hat. If you look uh, at the program the left wing party has, then you can see that they want to start with the socialist system again. Most of the people are against any dictatorship, any socialist communist regime and against the left wing party, of course, because I mean, that is the former state party. We have even a former guard of Hohenschönhausen, who is now a member of the Bundestag. And he served as a guard in Hohenschönhausen when I was a prisoner there. And um, I'm only lucky that I'm not a member of the parliament of the Bundestag any longer, because uh, I couldn't cope <laughs> with the idea that the former Hohenschönhausen guard is sitting next to me in the Bundestag plenum. <laughs> the German government has asked Roland John to conduct an urgent review into the extent of Stasi infiltration of previous parliaments. Also die Stasi hat ja versucht, in den letzten Tagen ihrer Existenz Akten zu vernichten. Aber sie hat es nicht ganz geschafft. Sie hat sie vorvernichtet, sie hat sie zerrissen, mit der Hand zerrissen zum Beispiel. Many believe it was the most sensitive files which the Stasi began destroying. Files relevant to people who are still in positions of power. But Rolignan's team have developed pioneering software to put them back together. And now these files are about to reveal their secrets. Uh, inwieweit sie präsent sind, das muss man sehen. Aber was waren alles Akten, die bis zuletzt genutzt worden sind? And history is repeating itself. In the wake of the Arab Spring, secret police are destroying the evidence of their crimes. Earlier this year, Egyptian protesters occupied the country's heavily guarded spying agency to stop the destruction of files. Acres of documents, some shredded, are now under the protection of the army, who have promised to preserve them. Klar, die Bilder, die man sieht aus dem arabischen Raum, das ist ein Déjà-vu, weil man sieht, dass Menschen aufbegehren gegen die Diktatur und ein selbstbestimmtes Leben führen wollen. Das macht optimistisch, dass Diktaturen nicht ewig existieren. One block south of the Brandenburg Gate is Berlin's Holocaust Memorial, only completed in 2004 six decades after the war had ended. 20 years after the fall of the Third Reich, it was a familiar picture in West Germany. All the former Nazi people sitting in um, key positions. And the Germans hadn't learned uh, about the mistakes they made after the Third Reich. Some believe the law which bans people from denying the Holocaust should be widened to include denial of the crimes of the East German dictatorship. Und zwar, dass es unter Strafe steht, die Leugnung der kommunistischen Verbrechen insgesamt. Ja, also nicht nur der Verbrechen in der DDR, sondern der kommunistischen Verbrechen insgesamt wäre der größte Traum für mich, wenn es so ein äh, Gesetz gibt für die Bestrafung dieser Leugnung. Ähm, und nicht nur für mich, sondern für alle ehemals Verfolgten und deren Familien. The German government have promised to finance the archive for one more term, which will expire in 2019. Roland Jahn's mandate to vet public officials and uncover the truth about the Stasi may be the country's last chance to deal with its communist legacy. Mm -hmm.